Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 71. Now this week we're going to take a look at a little activity I like to do with my students to test their ability to figure out the equation of a line by looking at the coordinates of points that lie upon the line. And the activity goes something like this. So say we want to start with um, a kind of bog standard line like y equals x. First thing we're going to do is uh, draw y equals x. So we're just going to hover up here to the enter equation button, or you can be lazy and just hit enter on your keyboard, your choice. And we're just going to draw y equals x. Now this is all something that you would prepare um, in the class uh, before you actually went into the classroom. Now that's a little skinny line now. I wouldn't mind thickening that up a bit. So actually I'm just going to jump to whiteboard mode. And there we go, a nice thick line there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a point on that line. So I just hover over here to point mode and I'll give this a little click and I'll probably just pop one there. Uh, now actually I could do with the, um, to know what that coordinate of that point is. So with it highlighted, I'm just gonna hover up to the top here and I'm gonna click on text box and I'm gonna get rid of the word point. So I just get the actual coordinates and notice that's red. So that's a dynamic text box. So that'll change as the coordinate changes. And I'm just gonna select a preset style of the good old ice blue. So give that a click and there we go. There's point one one. Now the nice thing here is if I just go into select mode and I drag that point up and down the line, uh, the coordinates of that point will change as you'd expect. Now I'm on the grid snap settings of one, so I can't do any uh, dodgy ones in between. If you wanna change that, you can just uh, change it to 0.1 and there you're good to go. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is something a little bit sneaky. I'm gonna just uh, click randomly out here to deselect everything, and then I'm gonna select the line. I'm gonna right click, and I'm going to click on hide object. So click on hide object. Um, I'm also gonna get rid of something that's giving the game away a little bit at the bottom here, which is, <laughs> which is this uh, key. So if I just right click at the bottom and show key, and the final thing I'm gonna do is just highlight this point a little uh, bit clearer. So I'm just gonna select the point, I'm gonna right click, and we've looked at this in the past, just the cheeky little way of getting a bit of a circle on there. Circle of radius 0.2, and that'll just highlight the point a little bit better. And now I'm good to go. So I could save that file, and then I'll uh, fire this up in lessons, and I'll say, okay, students, I have got myself a point here, and it is attached to an invisible line, and your job is to tell me what the equation of that line is. Now we can drag the point up and down, it'll, it will always stay attached to that line, and we can say to the students, what's the pattern between those points? Do you notice anything? And the beauty of this is that when, when your students have come up with their answer and had a little discussion about it, there's a really nice way to test it. And that is you fire up our old friend Mr. Turtle, so give him a click, slow plot, and we're going to enter in the equation of the line that the students think. So say they think, yeah, it's y equals x, pop in y equals x, and then hold your breath for the drama. Mr. Turtle will come along and start plotting this line. And if it goes through the point that the students predicted, things are looking up. And then also we can now drag it down and see that, yeah, it's always attached to that line. And of course you can do this with any line. You can do this with um, vertical lines, x equals one. You can do it with horizontal lines, y equals three. Or you can do it with the complicated kind of implicit lines like two x plus y equals five and all that kind of stuff. And it all just revolves around simply sticking a point onto a line and then hiding the line and dragging that point around. And it's quite a nice little activity that your students might get a lot out of. Anyway, that's it for this week. I'll be back with a fresh autograph video next week. Farewell for now.